Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. As you know, if you've been following along here at Art of the Image, I have the Nikon AW130 in here for review. Great little waterproof, shockproof camera, and I've got it in the stunning yellow color. I actually really like the yellow. I've got the XP80 here in yellow too, so uh, we'll, we'll do a review of comparing those up coming up too. Um, and more on the AW130 as well. What I wanted to talk to you about today is I just got in a package from Wasabi Power, Wasabi Power Batteries. And this is, I haven't opened this one yet, uh, this is a set of batteries for the AW130. So I wanted to show you what you get in the package for the AW130. Um, these are $19.99 for this package. Everything that's in this box, $19.99. I'll put the link below to Amazon so you can check it out. Um, I've been using Wasabi power batteries for years. I have them. I'm shooting at this video with my G7 right now. I have a slew of batteries for all sorts of different cameras. The T3i when I had it here, my um, D5200 I had Wasabi batteries for. Um, I've bought ENEL3Es for various Nikons, uh, Sony batteries. I've just got tons of different Wasabi batteries over the years. And my experience has always been that they are the equivalent to an OEM battery. I never have a problem with them. They are just as good. So the battery comes, there's one of them. It comes in the little plastic sleeve there. And let's see. We got two in here. So you get two batteries. Two batteries for the AW130. And then we have here, a nice protective bubble wrap and whatnot, we have a charger. So you get a, an extra charger. Um, and if memory serves, I'm not sure the AW130 comes with a charger. I think I had to plug it in to charge it. So really nice to have an external charger that you can keep batteries charging on. Nice thing about these two is they have the flip out wall plug, which is really nice. So there you go, you get a charger, two batteries. You get an adapter for those of you that are in, I guess that's 220 countries. So you know Europe or wherever you're using you know, we're, I think it's 120, you call it over here in Canada, in North America, um, but in parts of other parts of the world, 220. So you've got that covered for those of you that aren't on 120 or 110. I always forget what the two numbers are. I'm not an electrician. Um, and you get a car jack. This is for, uh, it fits your auxiliary plug or your lighter jack, as we've called them for years. So you get all of that. Um, in this box for $19.99, which is fantastic because these batteries last pretty good if you're just taking pictures in the AW130. I mean, I have an AW100, so I've shot with them before. Um, but as soon as you want to do some video, like any camera, that's what really starts to eat up your batteries. Um, like even my G7 that I'm filming this where right now, it lasts a long time. Almost never go through a battery just taking photos. You'd have to be, it'd have to be a really, really long shoot with a ton of images and a lot of reviewing. But as soon as you switch over to especially 4K video like I'm filming right now, it really eats through the batteries. Even more so with these small cameras that have these really small batteries. But here's your easy solution. You get two batteries for $19.95. Two batteries, a charger, adapter, and a, an adapter for the car for $19.95. 99. This one here is 19.99. Um, so I can tell you, um, I have high expectations. I'm going to be out shooting with the AW130, having a couple spares in my pocket. So if I want to do some video and show you how it does for vlogging, and maybe just to show you the video quality from the AW1, AW130, I'll have a couple spare batteries in my pocket that I can just flip them out, flip them into the camera for 20 bucks. To me, it's a no-brainer. I Any camera I have here or buy, I tend to grab a couple of Wasabi batteries to put them in. So my initial impressions are very favorable, and a lot of that's based on having used these for years and, and knowing how good they are. But the, the build quality on these is as good or better. <laughs> it's funny that I say better, but in the sense that when I look at a Nikon battery, let's take this one out here. Um, I would almost say that the battery has better fit and finish. Not that that matters in a battery. I mean, the Nikon battery works perfectly well. I'm not knocking it. But what I'm saying is, there's been a great attention to detail. This does not look like a cheap battery. It's not a cheap battery. It says right on it, premium cells from Japan. And that has been my experience in using them, that there is no difference between OEM and Wasabi as far as how long they last and whatnot. Um, so 
as you can imagine, that's the wasabi one there. Um, as you can imagine, I have high expectations for this based on past experience. So, um, you know, initial impressions, very favorable. I just got to get the lock down here on the, um, after having put, make sure the battery's clipped in. And then you got to twist that to get that lock on. I got very high expectations for the wasabi batteries. Um, and I basically expect them to function seamlessly. Uh, transparently in the sense of if I take out the Nikon battery and put the Wasabi battery in, in any other camera I've used Wasabi batteries, I don't notice a difference. And I expect that'll probably be the same here. But I will let you know, I've been doing a lot more shooting with the AW130, get you some more images, uh, videos, and rev uh, in-depth reviews, some hands-on shooting. I'm going to let the kids play with it too because these are great cameras for kids. They're shockproof, drop-proof, waterproof. You know, hard for a kid to really destroy this unless they hit it with a sledgehammer. Um, but anyways, great way to have two more batteries in your pocket for the small cameras where the battery you know might not last as long especially in video and look how small they are you can put these in your pocket and it's not weighing you down you're not noticing it um and you get a charger so i mean great deal you guys got any questions leave them below believe your comments below i'll see if i get them answered uh if you have experience with with sabi uh let me know is it similar to mine and uh, stay tuned because we'll be back soon with lots of stuff from the AW130, video, images, whatnot, um, and how the, the Wasabi batteries functioned in the AW130. Uh, like I said, they're $19.99 for all this on Amazon. I'll put the link below. You can check it out. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.